Been three days now since a powerful storm ripped through Belle Isle, and you can still see the signs of the destruction. It is a mess out there today. Volunteers answered the call for help and showed up to clean up one of Detroit's most popular attractions. Let's get over to Sean Lay, who's on the island and has a look at what happened when that storm hit. Good evening, Sean. Good evening to you, Karen. We drove all the way around Belle Isle. The damage here absolutely stunning. Everywhere you look, you've got branches down, big trees like this one, huge limbs as well. Big cleanup effort today, but it's really only just begun. Jake Brown was on Belle Isle when Monday's storm hit. Everything got dark, and then everything went white with the rain, and then we started seeing trees get ripped apart. And today, the cleanup from that storm is still going on. Crews putting big branches through wood chippers all across Belle Isle. A time lapse shows you the moment this storm blew through Belle Isle Monday afternoon. Packing winds so strong, Brown thought he was in a tornado. We're talking major league limbs. I mean, not, not branches, but big limbs like this one. Oh, this is small in comparison is to what right? happened. Oh, absolutely. There's probably trees up to 36 inches that were affected. When the storm passed, the damage left behind on Belle Isle was simply hard to believe. When you drive around the island, you see down limbs stacked everywhere. Mostly it's the trees, so you'll see a little less foliage out here and a little less coverage from the sun. The results of a big cleanup effort that is still going on with crews working away, but with also volunteers coming in to help from all over. As far as Allegan, uh, up in West Branch, uh, Jackson, uh, this has been a whole effort that uh, the department's pulled through, and I think they've done a really good job getting people here to help us out. Well, bottom line, guess what? They need more volunteers to come right back here tomorrow. Big time damage like this, some unhealthy trees like the one you're looking at, what's left of it here. Also healthy trees as well, but plenty of volunteers stacking up limbs like this and also bagging them as well. DNR says come right back tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. You can help. Back to you. It should be great. It really shows you just how bad that was the other yeah, day. Well, it's nice to see so many volunteers helping too. Yeah. All right, Sean.